Hello, it's Rob, and today I'm at the Baxi Training Centre here in Warwick. Officially, it's known as the most productive day of the week, which can only mean one thing. It's time for another Training Tuesday. And in this episode, I'd like to talk to you about the importance of this little fella, and also give you a brief overview of the gas valve that's inside the Potterton Pro Max Ultra. So that's enough talking from me for now. Cue the music, and let's get to it. We've utilised the same Batelli PCB on a range of our boilers over the years and they all have something called an RDS plugged into them. Now RDS stands for Removable Data Stick and they have the model type and also the gas valve settings for that particular boiler. It's worth mentioning that the PCB will not work without the RDS and will show you half a display flashing. So let's say, for instance, we've had to replace the circuit board on this boiler for one reason or another. So this is the old one that we've taken out and it's still got the RDS plugged in. So now if I turn the power onto the appliance, what you will be able to see is half a display flashing. So it's around about now you start panicking thinking you fitted a defective board. So now if I turn the power back off, take the data stick off the old board and access the new board that we've fitted. If I pop the data stick in its little place, covering back up, turn the power back on. So now we can see the current software version followed by the primary flow temperature. So the boiler is now ready for you to perform all your safety checks on. So that is the importance of fitting the removable data stick. The Batelli electronic gas valve, which we've used on a range of our boilers over the years, has no mechanical adjustment of the gas air ratio. So located behind this little black cap is where you would perform a working pressure test from if you haven't got a test point on the gas isolation tap. It's a 24 volt DC gas valve and the connection to the PCB is via this wiring harness. Now if you have an issue with the wiring harness, the PCB will recognise that and display a fault code of E09. The electronic gas valve has two safety solenoids. The first one, which is EV1, is quite simply an on-off solenoid. The second one, which is EV2, is also a safety solenoid, but also controls the outlet gas flow, depending upon the signal from the PCB. Now, if the boiler keeps going to E133, which is ignition lockout, and providing you've checked all of the components and done a recalibration, then it's possible that the gas valve may not be fully opening at ignition stage. So my advice would be to replace the gas valve and do a recalibration. Now you can check the resistance of the solenoids if you need to, and you do so like this. Obviously with the power turned off, your multimeter set on ohms, Let's just pop the light on so we can see a bit better. I take off the connection, we should be able to see four pins, and they are numbered one to four from left to right. So if I go between pins one and three, I'd be expecting a resistance value between 20 and 30 ohms. So 1 and 3, I have a resistance value of 26 ohms. There we go, that's okay. Now if I check between pins 2 and 4, I should be getting a resistance value between 60 and 70 ohms. There we go, 68. So that is an overview of the Patelli electronic gas valve. So guys and girls, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please stay tuned for more Training Tuesday tips. Yeah.